everyone. My name is Kaivala Shamrishtha Chinmay Oak from grade 6 and today I am going to be talking about the art of speed cubing. Many of you might not have heard about speed cubing because it's not that common of a sport but today I will tell you everything you need to know. Let's start. So first of all let's see what exactly is speed cubing. So speed cubing is a sport where individuals compete to see who can solve certain types of puzzles the fastest. There are also official competitions held for speed cubing, most of which are organized by the World Cube Association, also known as the WCA. Some of you might be surprised to hear this, but there are not only two to three types of puzzles, but 11 different types of puzzles that you can compete for in a WCA competition. Now let's see where it all began. So have you guys ever wondered how the Rubik's Cube got its name? Let's see. It all first began in 1972 when Erno Rubik, a professor at the Budapest University of Technologies, decided to invent a tool to make his students learn better. So a fun fact about him right here is that he was a professor and just like our teachers here at Espalier, he tried to teach in innovative ways. Then that's why he invented the magic cube, which was the original name for the Rubik's Cube. The first model was held together with paper clips and even elastic bands. But then he made a better version of it and he added six colors to the six sides of the cube and began turning it. But he couldn't solve it. He, it took him a while to realize that he had actually made a puzzle. It took him a whole month to make up a method to solve the cube. After a few months, he decided to partner up with Ideal Toy Company to start selling Varaskoska, which means magic cube in Hungarian. And soon, world records were being broken left and right. From a minute to 30 seconds, to 22 seconds, to 10 seconds, to today's insanely fast world record single, which is 3.47 seconds for 3 by 3. Now, here are some fascinating types of puzzles. First is the Megaminx, then there is a 5 by 5 Rubik's Cube, then there is a mirror cube, a ready cube, a kilo minx, which is an easier version of the mega minx, and a 13 by 13 Rubik's cube. Now, do you think that cubers just cube for entertainment purposes? Well, then you might be wrong, because there are also benefits of cubing on your body. First of all, cubing helps you improve your attention span. There are so many algorithms you have to learn to be fast at the cube. And if you are dedicated, this leads to you learning more things fast. It also helps improve your fine motor and gross motor skills. There are so many turns you have to do fast and this leads to your and especially young children's motor skills developing. And third and most important of all is that it shows you that there is a lot more behind a certain hobby than what you just see. See, how many of you thought that there were only two to three types of puzzles and that's it? Well, now you know that there are hundreds, if not thousands of varieties of puzzles. This can apply to a lot of things. If you decide to explore new stuff, then you will find out that there is a lot more behind it than what you just see. Now let's end this session with a motivational and inspirational takeaway message. Over the past year of speed cubing, the one thing that I have learned is that at the end of the day, the Rubik's Cube just tells you that you should not focus on the problem, but focus on the solution. Thank you.